Hello, Internet of Desire is your octave, and this is Let's Play Package Stop for Transport. I'm your octave, and it's 1969. Uh, it's not quite the summer of it, it's the winter. It's the early winter of 69. Um, our, our train of oil is, is completely useless. Um, it is now trying to transport empty barrels from one end of the area to the other. Uh, we are completely in the hole right now with the bank. Uh, why I've been borrowing and paying back as much as I have is to make sure that it was available for us when we needed it, and we did need it here, so, oh boy! <laughs> um, that was kind of loud. Uh, we're gonna take out the, uh, yeah, whatever, production, I don't care. Uh, we're gonna take out the, uh, oil drums here and reshape them into passenger cars that the people are just gonna love. Uh, it's going to be grimy and sooty on the inside of these because they were once oil drums, but they'll have no choice because we're the only we're the only train in town that's willing to go back and forth between these two places. Um, we're going to tell you to go over to Dracula and full load, full load any cargo. I don't know why it says far end here, middle, far, near, middle, whatever. Uh, not nonstop. Full load any cargo, middle, we don't... What? <laughs> what? Whatever, okay. <laughs> um, and then go to Beaker Bunsen Woods. Don't don't worry about full loading over there. So we're going to head on out. Uh, we're going to change this over to a passenger service, and they're just going to be stunned. They, they won't know what to do with all the oil on the walls. Now, um... One thing that I immediately forgot, said and forgot, is the stupid dorks in the east. I have <laughs> no excuse other than I'm easily distracted. Um, so we're going to immediately ignore all these other things that keep coming us and telling us that our, our company is going down the crapper. And uh, we're going to make a goods truck here. We're going to buy four of these. I don't know why I bought all four at once. I'm going to tell them to go to dorks in the east and do a full load over there full load any cargo, and then go to Dorks in the Docks, because that's just the way, that's the best way to do it. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for this. Get out of here. Same thing for this. Making clones. Same thing for this. Uh, and they're all, they're all on their way. Um, and it won't send any kind of messages to the AI, because... They, this has been going on forever. These are not new trucks going in. Um, there's so much mail going on in Dorks in the Docks that uh, they have to hire in uh, chimney sweeps to shovel mail into trucks. They don't even care where it's going. All they know is that it's on the way, um, and that's all they ever care about. Um, I see a problem immediately with this. We need to have more space um let's see here where was that uh the options for great production i don't care about that uh the options for transparency uh let's hide some of these here so we know what we're doing uh we're gonna make this right here building has to be demolished from here first so we're gonna miff off the people in dorks in the but that's fine because they're gonna get uh all their magazine subscriptions on oily uh, paper from the factory over here. Uh, let's put the buildings back on because I like the buildings. Um, Dorks in the oil refinery. They're they're there. They're making all kinds of plasticky things, um, and they're just waiting for the next uh, edition of uh, oil to come from over here. Uh, how how are you doing here? You have all kinds of oil just sitting there, sitting around in the dock. Um, I almost want to buy another uh, oil tanker, because that just filled up immediately. Oh, good gravy. Um, let's clone let's clone uh, his cousin's ship, the SS Dollar Signs 2. No, we don't need that one. <laughs> we need to clone the other one here, the oil spill 2, yes, and send that out, because we need even more uh, oil tankers to get caught up with this Beaker Bunsen oil field. There's there's so much oil, it's just spurting out of the ground, and nobody knows what to do with it. Um, so these these guys are just going to sit here and make the oil car... Uh, you know what? Instead of going to Dorks in the East, 
We're going to delete that and have you go someplace useful. We're going to have you head over to uh, Boogers. Where can we send you to? Can we? We're going to send you over to Geeks in the <laughs> Geeks in the Docks. Do you accept oil yet or mail yet? No, you don't. Um, in fact, uh, that's a bad idea. Let's just send you to the depot because we don't. We're gonna give up on mail. We're gonna grind ourselves into the dirt uh, because we're just gonna let mail flop. There's we're we're done with mail. Um, these guys are not doing so well. They're sitting there in dorks in the east, waiting for goods to start being manufactured, and they're still waiting on the SS oil spill to come in. Uh, this needs another name, a better name than SS oil spill. Uh, we're gonna call this the SS, uh, super ship, uh, Magna Carta. Yeah, I'm going to misspell it and everything. Um, it's going to be amazing. Ah, oh, my shoulder. Um, the, oh man, the, this, uh, the SS dollar signs is already done up with all kinds of oil as well. Jeez, they know, they're, they're shameless. They know no boundaries here. Uh, plums in the thumbs, you still have lots of passengers to be had. Um, all kinds of passengers and stuff. There's, there's no, it's voracious, you have no stopping them over there either. Now things are really starting to get out of hand. <laughs> um, every, that, that means that everybody else has access to the Darwin 300 here, uh, where we've had access to it for quite some time here. Hey! Axe Giant Forest is finally increasing uh, its stuff, but I think that's fine because they've they've been they've been slacking off. They've they found apes in the trees and they've set up tea parties with them. So there's no they've been but but eventually the apes kind of got sick of the lumberjacks uh, having their tea party uh, with them, and so they just kind of threw them out. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um. The, let's see here, how quickly do you get filled up SS Magna Carta? Oh man, there is so much oil here. I almost wish there was some more competitors at this oil field so that there wouldn't be so much uh, being taken up. Actually, okay, we're, we're sucking that one down pretty good. That That's almost acceptable here. Do we have another ship coming in on its tail? No, no we don't. <laughs> We have well, yeah, we do kinda. I think I think we can set up pretty pretty with three ships here. Holy Hannah, look at that money coming in. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have this loan paid back in no time here. Those those uh, Coleman ships here are just a godsend. They they carve up the competition. What we're, we're gonna shoot way the heck up. Look, we're almost up to gold yet, so we're we're easily gonna overtake them in this. And you guys were worried. Um. Also, on the last episode, um, I believe on the very tail end of that, we had access to the Yate Hagen, which is the equivalent of that supersonic jet that I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> it's not the Harrier. Uh, Chrome, I can't remember. Whatever. We're gonna... This is kind of a gratuitous thing here. It's 887000 Maybe, Maybe when we pay back the bank completely here, uh, we're, we'll, we'll feel confident enough um to really move forward with that here um these guys are still waiting on their first oil tanker to come in is that the ss dollar signs of course the ss dollar signs is going to lead the way um have these guys recovered yet are they way up no they're not so this is a pretty good medium here um I, i'm really i really want to see this one come in here to dorks in this in the south no not dorks in the docks what's all this we don't want you to go to Dorks in the Docks. Skip that. Uh, delete that. Instead, go to Dorks in the South. Why did you think that was a good idea? <laughs> um, where are you going? We don't need to go to the buoy. Captain Ron. Captain Ron. <laughs> Skip that. Go to... No. Where are you going? <laughs> Captain Ron. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, Dorks in the South. We need you to go to Dorks in the South. Go to Dorks in the South. What? Huh? All right. How how long have you been doing this here? Go to Dorks in the South. Oh wow! You don't even accept oil. What were you doing, Captain Ron? <laughs> All right. You. Oh no! Don't go to Dorks in the South. Go to 
dorks in the south. What? D oh, oh, whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> that makes me angry. Um, you've been toting around. You lost 12000 You lost this $12,000. Captain Ron! <laughs> Ah, uh, there's there's no reason for you to go back there. What are you doing? Ooh, go to Darks in the South. You're all gonna go to you're you're suspended without without anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh wow. Ooh. Meanwhile, <laughs> Long Logger has actually started to increase our profitability, whereas you guys have just been wandering around the tub. <laughs> and all right, so finally, finally. We're producing goods. We're making things. There's all kinds of goods to be had here. Ah, oh, that was frustrating. Yes, yes, the arrive in dorks in the south. Oh, I'm I'm sure everybody saw that and was like, "What are you doing, Azur? Why? Why do you do this?" Ah, oh, boy, that was dumb. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. And they're just going to hop over to here and dump their cargo off. I'm sure that's not the most profitable way to do this here. But to keep up with the amount that's being produced here, I think that's really what we have to do. Um, I think I also have too many uh, too many uh, buoys out here, but that's fine. I don't think their maintenance cost is that high, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, these guys are all going to wander back up here. Uh Dorking Geeks in the docks are completely overrun. That's fine. They're good. We, we won't worry about them. <laughs> um, how are the Plums and the Thumbs West? Um, they're doing pretty good. Their mail is really, really too much to bear. Um, I almost, I almost. Let's see here. We could, we could run some mail uh, back and forth between. Yeah, sure. We'll take that exclusive just so that the competitors don't have it here. We'll we'll send this uh poor little poor little mail truck here. We're getting to a point now. Yeah. Look look. Oh oh. Are we gonna do? Yeah, uh. Mm, we can almost we can almost pay this completely back. Can we do it? Can we do it this episode? Come on, guys. Yes. We're debt free. <laughs> Woo! All right. No more bank breathing down our neck. We can borrow as much money as we need to, and to celebrate. We're gonna have our uh, truck here. Uh, there's the Yate Hugen for everybody here now. Uh, we're gonna have our little truck go from Dorks in the Docks uh, all the way up to uh, Plums in the Thumbs West. And I know that's not gonna be. Hey, oh, I can't do that yet. Uh, we're gonna make a mail truck uh, f or a truck depot for these guys. Uh, oh. Oh, boogers. Why do I always do that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to make uh, some... Ah, we're going to... Uh, lost my train of thought. Um, We're going to make a, a truck depot. That's what that is. Wow. Uh, truck depot. Ooh, a flying saucer. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're going to make a truck depot for our little traveling truck to go to here. He's going to go all the way to Plums and the Thumbs West and do a full load. And we're going to send that on its way here. So off it goes. We are completely debt-free. Thank you, business report expenditure thing. You can go away now. Um, and in fact, uh, let's see here. All that, yeah, guess, ooh, Captain Ron. Captain Ron, you are making me boiling mad. Um, what, what's your deal? You, you're, you're a terrible train, train three. You can't even get enough people. Let's, let's, uh, let's send you to the depot here. See if there was any, let's see if giving you one, uh, passenger, uh, section does anything here. You, yeah, you lose money too. That's fine. I lose money too. Uh, can stay there. We're going to dump your one passenger car and send you out. Let's see if you get any kind of pro profit from that next year here. So, um, this these guys have so many crates of goods, they don't know what to do with them here. Um, so, they're, they're just going to keep on working hard here, um, dumping it off at Dorks in the Docks, until I find a decent enough spot to put them. There's not really a reason to go hog wild with them. Um, 
Where's where's this bus station coming from? I have buses going to and from here. That's not from there. Are you a bus station? Oh yes, you are. There we go. We got ten passengers sitting over there. Dorks in the docks is still has so many. Wow, even Dorks in the docks has a bunch of passengers now. Um, and yeah. All right, and we have so many so many dollars that we don't know what to do with. Them. Um, let's take a look at here. Uh, make a new ship. We're gonna make a hovercraft. We're gonna buy a couple of those actually, because there's they're cheaper compared to all these things here. We're just gonna have them run from Dorks in the Docks, do a full load, and then tell them to go to Geeks in the Docks and see if that helps out at all. Uh, these things are speedy. They run along the the Fancy Pants Bay like you wouldn't believe. Uh, so hopefully they can finally start to make a dent in all of these uh, terrible things here. Um. You know what? Since we are at this point now where we have all this money incoming and there's no uh, problems with that. Was that my road vehicle? No, it was somebody else's road vehicle. That's fine. Road vehicle destroyed in UFO collision. It's the 70s. Um, <laughs> I guess that's New Mexico, Roswell. Um, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. <laughs> All these pokey ships are headed into the dock. Um, we're going to destroy all the people on board. Everybody has uh, passengers on them, I'm sure. 32 passengers, killing people, 32 at a time. Uh, and, yeah. So, we'll say goodbye to that and build new ships. When you do this this way, uh, there's their, their orders are identical. So, you don't have to worry about retracing all their orders and stuff. So that's that's one of the cool things here, and they're speedier, they're better. So, um, let's see here, who's next? Uh, we have ship number five. We're gonna delete that and make another one of these. I need more money for that. So, bank, we're only gonna borrow a little bit from you for a, for a while. Uh, buy you and send you out because ultimately these are gonna be more profitable. Uh, buy that. Borrow a little bit more, but again, we're pretty much scot-free for this. Uh, and we're going to try building you. We need to borrow a little bit more. And send you on your way. And this is going to make a big old dent in the amount of people waiting around for ships, which in turn will be cheaper for us to maintain um, and all that jazz. And we're going to make more money. So I think we're definitely at the end of our needing the bank. Uh... We're, we got, cost us about $300,000, three hundred and forty. dollars um, that's fine, closure, who cares. First truck arrives at Plums and the Thumbs West, hooray! We have way more Road Depot than we need. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, and this, these, these loans will get repaid a lot faster here, so I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Um, what are you doing? What, what are your orders? You have 31 passengers you're supposed to go... Oh, you're trying to help out with Plums and the Thumbs West. That's cute. <laughs> you don't need to do that bus, really. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, repay that real quick. The bank's more of like a friend that we borrow 50 bucks from f over the weekend. Uh, see, look at how fast they're going down here. Uh, those guys are finally getting caught up. Uh, we have an appropriate amount of ships for the amount of people going back and forth, um, and it's all good. Uh, see, we're already uh, mostly finished. Um, these guys alone are going to be so profitable, it's un unreal. Uh, profit this year, with the cost of being bought, uh, is going to go away in this, yeah. So it's already paid for itself. This is this is money in the bank. So, all right. Um, I think that's a big milestone for us. Let's see where we are compared to all the other companies. We've kind of evened out because we've really not been pushing ourselves to get more money in. Uh, this is going to be a significant boost to our funds. Uh, again, we're repaid completely off. That's forty-two dollars, forty-two thousand dollars worth of profit, complete and utter profit. So, and everybody's happy with us. We have more goods than we know what to do with. Um, <laughs> and yeah, things, things are happy. Things are good. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to wrap up for today. 
um, this little set of recording sessions. I'm Azure Octave. If you like the series, make sure you're favoriting and liking and whatever you need to do. Um, if you don't like it, keep it clean. <laughs> All right, we will see you later on, everybody. Bye.